Welcome. So today we're going to go through a project. Um, so building this wine display. Uh, it's it's an interesting little project. It's pretty simple, but there are a lot of details to, to uh, you have to really pay attention to to get this right. Um, so first I'd like to give a shout out to David Pachuto for Make Something. I basically plagiarized a lot of his design um, and I did a few enhancements on mine. So I'll walk you through step by step how to build this from from all the different materials to the uh, different processes of, of with the table saw, the router, the planer, um, and uh, the joiner. So lots of tools actually involved to make this. And one thing I did do above and beyond what David did, I basically made a template for my router so that I could make these a lot easier um, and uh, get a little bit more precision on, on building them. So um, give, it a, give it a look. Um, I hope you find it useful. If you like uh, what you see, um, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, have any comments, uh, drop them in the comment section. I'll, I'm pretty good at getting back to anybody if you have any questions on how to make this or some something in the video that may not be clear. Just let, just let, let me know. I'll try to answer your questions. So um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. And uh, good luck with the project. I think you'll find this is this is pretty a uh, pretty cool little project and and uh, you, you use a lot of different skills to make this so the finish on this I really like first time I did um, with uh, a shellac finish and I and I used a, a wax at the end so if you, if you watch it you'll see that during the video so good luck okay for the project here's the, the materials so basically I, I got some cherry um, I started planting it I, I'm not done planting it um, I've got some walnut more for the accent piece again I have to plane this one down and some hard maple so that's the, the primary wood walnut will be the accent pieces um, I'm going to use uh, shellac for the for the finish and I got some denatured alcohol because I have to thin this down to do the first couple coats and I will be finishing up with some paste wax so I've created a template that I'll use and so I'll basically just um, he spray adhesive of this down onto the board, um, the boards after I get them done. Um, so it's got it shows where the holes go. And So just to give you an idea, so basically I have everything cut. So as you saw, I, I used I used my magnetic block to set the the width of this piece here, the spacer that was goes in between, that's kind of embedded between. So the idea is basically what I'm going to have is we're going to have the two oak. I ended up using oak instead of uh, hard maple. Um, I had more oak around. I decided to use it. I thought it might look nicer. So. Basically, it's it's oak on the on the two ends, side, oak sides. There'll be a piece of, of the the walnut between, and this goes in the middle. So the way it works is I will just let's just square this up just to make it look nice. So the idea is basically. So this is the template. So I'm gonna, I've made enough to do two. Actually, I was going to do more than that. I've actually cut some extra pieces. I mean, it depends how this turns out. I might do more. Um, so, but this is my template. Uh, one thing 
also is the template is made for five and a half inches but when i add these these guys in here they add almost uh well they're about 200 200 thousands each so about four tenths of an inch so what's gonna all that basically is gonna mean is that this um this is a little bit wider i have to i'm gonna have to trim this anyway because all this has to be cut down and i'm gonna make this basically gonna be an oval all right getting ready to glue it up so i get i just clamped it together just to make sure it'll fit so i'm gonna I haven't glued it yet, so I'm just going to take these off. Okay, so it's been overnight. Um, everything should be set, so let's pull this boat band boy apart. Okay, so um, I, was, I did a video with part of it with trying to put it on a piece of hardboard. This did not work. So here's what I'm doing. I'm basically going to, because I didn't want to run to the hardware store, I don't have any spray adhesive, I'm lazy, whatever. Um, and, I, and I'm going to make a, I'm just going to make a pattern so that I can um, use my, so I have my a router where I got a, so I have the, uh, the bearing. So I'm going to basically use it as a, a pattern. Um, then I can cut out this ellipse or this oval. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this. And I've done this in the past. I've, I've used this. This is my kind of my, my little logo that I've been, I put on some of the woodwork I'd, I've done and some projects I've done. Um, it's, it's basically, it's, it's mirrored over. But um, I just printed out on a laser printer. And it seems to work pretty well. I've actually, what I've had more successes has actually rerun it through the laser printer multiple times. You get a little bit of registration issue with it, but it, it's, it seems to, to help because you, you want to get more of the, uh, basically the uh, toner onto it so it transfers better. Um, it works okay. I would not use it for a, something I was going to sell or even probably give away. I just use it, use it for just internally for my shop. So the plan is I'm just going to, so I've got this, basically this, this template, the same one I put on the top of, of this guy, right? So I've got this template. I just laid it down here. I've got my my uh, my heating iron, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it. So if you heat up the uh, the the toner, it will actually transfer into the wood. So lessons learned: it does not seem to work if you use hardboard. So I'm going to try this on just a piece of quarter inch plywood and see how it goes. Hopefully, better than with the hardwood. So I'll plug this little devil in. Let her warm up, which will take, you know, let's see, I don't want to step over that, so let's put him behind me. So we'll take, we'll take a pause as we wait for this thing to hot. I'll see if it's hot. Ooh, smoky.
Okay, so I have the template made. And as you can see, here's the dowels. Basically, so they, they're, they're, they're countersunk in, and a couple bolts and, and nuts on here. Just bolted them in. This side is up, so it's not a problem. So these guys here will align with the holes. So they just, just line them up. Down it goes. So I'll take my jigsaw, a rough cut around here, take my flush trim uh, router bit, and then route right to this. So that should work. And same, same goes with here. Do the same. All right, so everything's all sanded up. I think she's ready to go. So I got both of them ready. Um, the one thing I'm going to do now is apply the the the, uh, the finish. So my uh, finish that I'm going to use, I'm going to and I this is my first time with shellac. I've heard a lot of good things about it and a lot of opinions like everything. But basically, I'm using the uh, the Zinser shellac. Um, it comes basically, which it doesn't say on the can. I had to look it up comes as a three pound cut, which basically means how much of the shellac they put in the denatured alcohol. So when I think it's pounds, it's um, basically it's um, how many pounds of shellac you put in one gallon of, of denatured alcohol. So for a three pound cut, they put three pounds of, of the shellac in there. So I'm going to, I want to dilute this down. So I've got, I've already poured a little bit of the shellac in here. So I'm using the amber, which I hope that's right for this. Um, I was kind of torn between the amber and the clear. Um, so I'm going to put in, I'm going to knock it down by about a third. So it's not going to be exact, but I'm just going to put some in there and we'll go from there. So it's first coat's on. It's, it's dried. It's only been eh, about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Um, looks pretty good. I'm just going to give it, a, I've got some 220 grit. I'm just going to give it a little light sanding on both sides. Um, and then we're going to hit it with another coat of the, basically the diluted version of the shellac. Sh shellac. Shellac. <laughs> or shellac. Um, and after that, we will do the third coat. So hopefully three coats will be enough, uh, but we'll have to see. So I've put on, a, uh, I've got my third coat on. I basically went on full strength on the on the shellac, so I didn't I didn't dilute it down with the denatured alcohol. So um, it's a little bit too too much of a sheen for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put paste wax on it. So before I do that though, I'm gonna take some I got some um, four uh steel wool. Just gonna knock the sheen off a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the paste wax on. Okay, so it's been about eh, about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna just gonna buff these out, and uh, they'll be done. 